that free men stood against a tyrant, that few stood against many. Hello, welcome back. Today I will continue the testing of the uh, OpenXR and DCS. Uh, today I'll be testing the night with the F-18 uh, Super Hornet and the um, Theodore Roosevelt CVN-71. So I have this mixed reality portal. Uh, there was a couple updates. This I just updated today. It's up to date. Uh, then I got the uh, OpenXR Toolkit. And see version 1.2.0 is active. Close that, and I got the uh, OpenXR tool, uh, the same, 100%, and there was an update on this too, so this was updated as well. So let me go into the game, and um, I will show you the settings inside the game. So let me launch it real quick, and here we go. All right, so now here in the game, uh, the settings are about the same. I'm just gonna show you that this is uh, max out. I even got the um, visibility range to extreme. And for some reason, the frames per second stay the same. So the only big change that I see is the weather. When you change the weather or you turn it off, you get a couple frames per second extra, but everything else uh, does not affect. So you can see, just remember everything is high, and then I will switch it down and I will show you the frames per second are about the same. Here in the VR tab, uh, pixel still up one, and everything else still the same. So, uh, let me show you how it behaves in the game. Alright, so this is the night. I have the settings of this night into a clear night. You see the moon all the way up there. So, the camera can capture it really well, but it looks very clear with your eyes, with my own eyes. So uh, I just wanted to show you this screen before I start uh, for the setting of the night. And here's how it looks with the lights on as soon as the carry comes with the lights on. So, so far the first impression uh, is not good. Not good for the night. Um, a lot of wobbling. Uh, very low frames per second. You can see it's 15 only goes up to 17 maybe 20 sometimes but as of right now is uh, is pretty low here on the outside you can see um, the red lights on the vertical cell lights with the left one everything else when you pan looks okay when you pan around but uh, Let me go back to the jet and look at the red. It disturbs the frame of the jet of the tail every time it blinks. It, it is okay, I mean it's acceptable, but if you move around uh, the frames per second are very low. I don't know if it's because I have this uh, super bug on. Um, I will do some tests going back to the F-18C, but um, um, we'll see. Now let's check this uh, setting. So I try to keep everything the same. Uh, the only differences are here. You can change or activate your post processing. So let me show you um, the changes when you move it around. They call they call it sunglasses, but here you can see it goes to light, dark, and through night. So you can see this basically lighter, lighter, and then darker, darker. So off uh, 
it looks very clear with your own eyes again and this is just making it darker and darker and darker here without the lights of the carrier you can uh, see how dark it gets and off um, makes it as light as before the setting of the night is like if you are one of those nights in the fall where the moon is shining and you can almost see everything that's how you that's how it looks right now so all the other settings uh, I kept them the same uh, I really don't know too much about all the settings though. but I kept them the same just to make the test fair so that's what I got and that's how uh, it looks with those settings you can see the frames per second still 15 or 16 I mean it looks good it's just wobble and the uh, uh, from computer is very blurry because you know whoever made the mode didn't put it on high resolution but all right so let me start taxiing you can see yeah the frames per second are pretty bad 14 a lot of stutter a lot of stopping I can feel the um, the game tries to load and then it gets better and then it loads and it gets smooth and then it gets better but it does that a lot so it's very unstable you can see very um, low frames per second on the crew right there wobble on the jet wobble on the wings wobble everywhere so I guess those models are a little bit more uh, how you say that uh, demanding because they have a lot more detail but the tower looks okay but you can see the radar yeah a lot of wobbling I got there yeah so this night is not too open XR friendly so like I said I'm gonna do testing without this mode on and see if it improves if it does I'll let you know but uh, I think it's the carrier is very demanding because it has a lot of program all these little guys have a program they have to execute so the carrier is very um, demanding when it comes to graphics and frames per second um, I mean it looks a little bit better right now but still uh, it's acceptable but it's very annoying so you see the jet outside and uh, I turn off the blur just so you can see the afterburner I like to see the afterburner with the blur on uh, doesn't look that good so those models are pretty good on those planes whoever made this mod it's pretty good the model but it's just required a lot more power from your PC alright so now I'm gonna go and lower the settings so you can see that even though the settings are gonna be lower the frames per second are gonna stay very low so let me show you that here I am I'm gonna go to settings uh, if you remember how they were before uh, high high textures terrain low uh, low uh, water, I'm gonna keep it on high visibility and stream range, extreme. visibility range extreme. I'm gonna change it to low. Uh, heat blur was off, shadows and high, secondary shadows off, and clouds at ultra. I'm gonna switch it to low. So these are gonna be the main settings that people change to make. Uh, Steam VR work better with the game so those are the changes everything else still the same and I'm gonna bring all this with all this down to the metal more or less just to show you that, that the frames per second don't change at all and the VR is still at 1.0 so and I'm gonna hit OK and let me show you what happens to the frames per second they remain the same alright so now I'm back the same situation same mission same settings and everything but you see 
frames per second they're about the same and even lower um, so I don't know what to tell you I don't know why this happens it just doesn't affect uh, the performance at all I noticed this with the F16 as well it just doesn't change it at all uh, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit to make these planes come to life there they are uh, you can see the frames per second are 11 I think they were between 14 and 15 before so I don't know why now they're even lower after I lower the settings so if you know why that's happening uh, let me know the uh, external views always they're a little bit better but you can see it's still 15 and 16 frames per second but they look okay uh, here everything looks good as long as you keep looking forward um, I guess now because of the carrier has this guys with the flashlights and lanterns maybe it requires more power but uh, I don't remember this happening before and the external views are always better I guess because it doesn't have to model the uh, the entire cockpit and all the buttons and lights but still uh, there's a lot of wobbling and stutter every time the crew moves on deck you can see there when I zoomed in it wobbled and the shadows are very pixelated see the shadow on the wing and the movements are smooth but let me see um, when he walks away and you can see the frames per second um, dropping and in the shadows these guys are floating in the air I don't know why I just don't remember this without the mod but uh, I'll check that out later alright so let's get this guy in the air and I'm sure in the air the frames per second are gonna go better because they don't have to the whole carrier has to it doesn't have to be model so yeah it looks pretty good we're already at 21 yep improving already and uh, the wings actually uh, it wobbles a little less I guess because I lowered settings yeah it doesn't uh, have that double stuttering on the wind tips um, yeah it improves a lot when you're not on the boat but um, again it's a shame because you know you like to see the boat moving smooth I like to be on the boat and be around it so it's a shame uh, now here on the external views uh, of the carrier this looks pretty smooth uh, let's see how these guys do if there's any wobbling or stuttering uh, the guys look okay crew looks okay let's see when it goes Yeah, the tail, the jet wobbles a lot and stutter, but uh, panning around here, it looks okay. Yeah, a little bit of stutter here and there, but not too bad. But again, we're supposed to be inside the jet flying and not uh, be looking around here where we're not supposed to be. So, let's see how this goes. It looks pretty smooth. Uh, the light on the tail on the vertical stabilizer. Now it doesn't disturb the frame of the jet. So. And of course here, all the way up. 27, 30 frames per second. So everything's good up here. Lights on the jet looks good. The red light blinking doesn't affect the frame of the jet. So yeah, everything in the air is good. So I think that's it 
for this video. The next test will be uh, night ops recovery in aircraft. So let me know if you know anything about this and how to improve the OpenXR. I hope this helps and fly safe.